Oh my god! Got him! Oh, giant! There he is! What is that? Dude, what is that? That's massive. All right, guys, welcome to another video here. We just got absolutely pummeled with rain. I think we got about four, four and a half inches. We're about to get a bunch more, maybe even another four or five inches. As you know, when that happens, I like to go fishing and try and catch fish in some crazy spots. So as you can see, we got a tunnel going in here. We're about literally five feet higher than we normally are. We've got water coming out right here. And what I'm gonna do today is try and find a bunch of spots like this, try and catch fish out there, in here, find culverts and drains, just pond hop, try and catch something huge from these crazy places. Thank you guys for watching, let's make it happen. Oh my gosh! Dang gummit! Cannot hook anything. That was like a freaking four pounder sitting in there. Gotta try one more tactic here. Instead of casting, we're just gonna we're just gonna do this. Another one back there. That's insane. I can't believe that. Look at that. That dude came from right back in there. It looks like he might have gone back too. All right, got some nice fish at that last spot, especially pretty crazy to catch them in that tiny little tunnel. We were catching them in. I'm at another pond right here. So my goal today, bear with me here, is to try and catch fish from in there. The water's high enough. It's probably about two and a half to three foot deep in there. I'm gonna try and use this tunnel to try and catch some fish from right underneath us. Thank you guys for sticking with me. So much for my stealthy approach. Oh man, got one from inside there, that's crazy. You can see this guy was sitting way down inside there. Oh, giant, oh, giant guys, holy buckets. Oh, that's such a monster. Okay, got him. Stay with us. 
Sorry to get you all nasty like that, dude. Look at that monster. Holy smokes. That's epic. Look at how long that thing is. That is crazy. That's super long fish. If that fish had a better gut, we'd be looking at seven and a half to eight pounds. I mean, that's probably a 23 plus inch fish. That's crazy. That one was sitting just outside the tunnel kind of where the other ones were sitting just waiting for something to come through that tunnel and then it would just pop it that's awesome that was a fun one can you make it out of here baby there she goes Giant! My goodness! Another monster! Oh, buddy! Okay. There we go. Stay here. All right. Look at the shape of this one. Solid. Four and a half, maybe five, not quite as big as our last one, but a nice one. Can you make it out of there, bud? I literally stepped on him. Do y'all see him? He's huge. He is massive. Look at the size of that snake. Northern water snake. I stepped on him and he didn't even do nothing. Look at him, he's mad. Oh boy. Oh boy. Doesn't this just look perfect? Let's see if there's anything sitting inside of here. I know they're gonna be down there, but I really want to pull one out from in here. All right, let's get ready. There's got to be one right there. What is that? Dude, what is that? That's massive. That's massive, but it's in rocks. My line's pretty compromised already. Pretty loose drag on him. That's huge. That's huge. Oh, come on, dude. Just give it up a little bit. Oh, my gosh. You got a backlash down here. Look at the boils this thing left. Oh, my goodness gracious. Stay with us here, man. He's stuck in all that crap. Oh, come here, bud. Come on. Oh my gosh. He's out there in open water now.
Holy smokes, dude. Come on, man. Look at that boil. What is this? What is this? Oh my gosh. See, I don't like him coming over here because there's nothing but rock piles. And he's in this crap again. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, it's a massive channel. Look at the size of that channel. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that channel. That is massive. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Got him. Look at this thing. Check out that channel cat, guys. What an absolute unit. That guy destroyed the bass jig. Just destroyed it. The thump from that thing hitting my bass jig was crazy. I thought it was a giant bass. Wow. <laughs> I like when channels get this big. They have a lot of character. Especially in their face. That guy's really golden. Whenever you're ready, buddy. Be gone. There was a bass down there. I think we had to get that big predator out of there in the first place and then probably other fish would start moving in here but that guy clearly had rain over this whole area. A lot of times when you have water flowing like this, it'll drop, and obviously it's way too high right now to see it, but it'll drop down and it'll create a creator right there, right at, right below this drain, and you'll find that the fish oftentimes sit in that crater because it's a foot or two deeper than anything around it. All right, guys, that was an absolutely epic session for me. That was so much fun. When it rains like this, it's just crazy. These fish want to explore. They want to see what's going on. In new waters, they want to get up in places where they normally can't go. It brings nutrients, it brings oxygen, it brings food. And oftentimes, if it's like a hot, hot summer day and you get a cool rain, the colder water makes those fish really, really active. Every fish I caught today on the Sixth Sense hybrid jig, that is a unit of a jig, that hook had no problem handling that giant catfish. And for a trailer, got the Sixth Sense Stoker Craw. Makes a bunch of commotion down there. Love that thing. Anything at the Six Cents site, use my code PIG10 for 10% off your purchase. And as always, epic work from Casting as well. Royale Legend Elite, Bait Casting Reel, and Speed Demon Pro Carolina Rig, 7 foot 6 rod. Had 20 pound fluorocarbon on there, and I was worried that catfish would break it. I had to have my drag somewhat tight because there's so many rocks around there. But thank goodness we got that fish in, otherwise, I'd be telling y'all it was a 15 pound bass. Thank you guys for watching this one. Hope y'all enjoyed it.